I suppose my favourite picture of the last seven years from documenting conflict would have to be the Syrian catapult picture. Uh, what that was, was um, a group of free Syrian army rebels using this homemade makeshift catapult to fire homemade grenades, sort of homemade, homemade explosives. And so I think it was our second or third time in Aleppo. It was our first day of the trip. And we got somewhere and someone said, some FSA guy he said, oh, around the corner they, they, they pull and, and let go and they pull and let go. And, and, we, and we, we just thought that someone's got like a little slingshot or something, you know. And, uh, and we, we jump in the car and go sort of 100 metres round, round, the, round the corner. And sure enough, there's this huge catapult that they've welded together with bits of metal and corrugated iron and scaffolding. And they're, they're, they're pull, it takes four of these guys to pull this rubber band back and l slot this, this explosive in, light it, and then let it go. And it would fly over this wall into an area where Assad, Assad troops were. But, you know, a lot of the time they sometimes they'd light it and they'd let it go and it would fly off and just never explode. Some would go left, some would go right. Others, they'd, they'd hit the wall and bounce back and we'd all have to run out the way before it exploded. And the, it was just, it was a picture that, that encapsulated the struggle of the Free Syrian Army back then. Your mind's too focused on trying to take a picture and, and safety and things like that. So it was, it was afterwards where you're, you're editing your pictures and you're filing and you think, bloody hell, that's, that, that, was, that was quite something back then, wasn't it? You know, and you sort of look at your, your mate and you think, wow, that was, that was bizarre. You're not going to see much of that, you know, in your lifetime.